really on the side. Right, what do I do first? The first. Yeah, the, so first, the first numeric denominator is three, so. What do I do for Look at step number one there. So, make the denominator the same, so times it by three. So how do we make it the same? What do we do? Uh, you times three, three by three, and that will give you nine. So you, you, you get three. How did you get three? Because I know that that nine and my three times table. So look for the multiples of look at that word there. Multiples of three. Multiples of three, three, six, nine, twelve, and the multiples of nine. Multiples of nine. Nine. nine 18, 18, 20, 27. And what do we look for? Uh, look for a number that's on both of them. And the smallest nine, which is in both of them, that's nine. So that's why we times by three at the Wait. bottom there, the denominator, mm -hmm. or times by three at the top. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So when you times the top, what do we do next? When you times the top, now we. Oh, once you times the top, uh, I need to find the. You need to find the what um, do I do? You need to find the numerator. Mm -hmm. So what do I write in this first box? In the first box, you have to write nine. Why should I write nine? Wait, no, three. Because? Because uh, it's just, you're finding it by three, so... That was so, see, a time one, can you watch can you see this arrow? Yeah. One times so three, three is three. Three. And you see this arrow? Three times three is oh, what? three times three is nine. Nine. Okay. You see the arrow I have put there. Yeah. When you do yours, you can draw this arrow because they help you to really see what is happening. Right. Now, what do we do next? What's the next thing we do? Now, we need to add the two, two numerators. So three plus four equals seven. And then there's the nine under which we write. So that's the answer. Yep. yep. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, copy this one. Use the color and draw these arrows. These are the arrows that will help you to learn things because it don't, it's not words, it's just pointing you what's happening. Okay. Write it down, draw the arrows so that when you do your next question. Okay. You do you write exactly the same thing I'm doing. You look for the multiples and then you choose the lowest common multiple. And you follow the rest of the process.